Hey everyone, how are you? I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you so much to the people who messaged me about not posting last week. I didn't think you'd notice and I didn't think you'd mind, but like ghosting a friend's birthday party, you definitely noticed and you definitely minded. So here you go, a new video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to Friday's favorites. Ugh. It just has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Friday's favorite. Maybe we'll, yeah, maybe we'll not maybe do anything. It just came to me, I just thought I would do it. We got the bag, everyone. So, oh, and B. Maybe that can be in a conspiracy video. Who is N B? Or is it N plus B? I don't know. All right, guys, so. <laughs> going down for a minute. All right, let's do, um, let's get started. I already picked one and it is my favorite sport. No. <laughs> you probably think, but Brad, you don't have a favorite sport. Same shirt, same mug. Do you see what I mean? We're, we're, this is an ongoing series. I believe this is either, I don't even know how many this is. Gosh darn it. Favorite sport. So. I mean, you could do a lot of different categories for favorite, you could do like favorite watch sport, favorite sport to play, favorite sport to go live, um, my favorite sport is probably gonna be, I mean, uh, this is really hard because I don't, okay, my favorite sport is rugby, insert photo here, that's why. <laughs> But also, like, I I really like it. It's violent. It's fun. Um, but also, like, I also really love baseball slash soccer. And I put that in a slash because, to me, not a lot happens. So I'm able to uh, have people tell me what's going on. They're, they're pretty straightforward. Um, but, yeah. Rugby. Right? I mean, let's get real. It's, it's who I am. Yeah. Okay, next one. My favorite store. I mean, I wish I could say like Gucci, Chanel, Prada, Louis Vuitton, Holt Renfro, Saks. Oh God, I wish I could say that, but I can't because I can't afford shit from those stores. Um. Okay, let's let's go to Europe, shall we? My favorite store is Primark. Primark. Pr Primark. I might be butchering that. I don't know. It is like an H&M, it is a low-end, like, disposable wear, but, like, you can get things for the most cheapest. I've seen, like, different videos, actually, online of, like, makeup tutorial from Primark, or makeup haul, or clothing haul, or emoji haul, I don't know, but I've seen a lot of stuff. Uh, I cannot wait to go back to London, or, I mean, other places in Europe it probably is. I can't wait to go back. I'm not bringing very many clothes because I'm literally going to go to Primark as soon as I get there and buy all of my clothes for my trip because I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Last time I went to Primark, I bought three jackets. Three jackets. That is outerwear, people. For like 60 pounds. Yes, for 60 pounds. I bought a long trench coat, a cool um, denim coat. And I bought like a really cool like bomber jacket for 60 pounds. It's my favorite store of all time. Ugh, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate mail about like the conditions in which like people, you know, have to make the clothes like high cost for low prices. If you haven't seen that documentary, you should watch it. The next thing that I'm pulling out of the bag is, ooh, my favorite appliance. That's a fun one. So my favorite appliance, my favorite thing to ever use is my food processor. Mm, I love my food processor. I make lots of things. I used to make guacamole in it, but I like chunky guacamole, so it kind of doesn't work for me really. But what you can do is you can make a guacamole and then add chunks like later. And I think that that's perfect. But I like making guacamole, I make it like every day. My other uh, favorite things to make would be like, ooh, this um, avocado chocolate pudding. I love it. It's vegan. It's dairy-free, gluten-free. It's it's free of everything. 
not flavor and taste. But you gotta make it, and then you gotta you gotta let it rest because the avocado flavor is still kind of in there. I know you may say like avocado doesn't really have a flavor, but when you're making chocolate pudding, it, yeah, it does. So what you gotta do is you gotta wait, and then um, like the next day, you'll have amazing chocolate pudding. Try it; it's great. Maybe I'll leave a recipe. Moving on, moving on. My favorites. Um, okay. The next thing we're gonna do is favorite subject in school as a kid. I mean, I would love to say like gym. Like gym is the one that's popping out to me, but that that wasn't it. It was art, art or like drama. Anytime I got to like be super creative, obviously was like the best time for me. Um, it, it was always, whether it was like learning how to draw or acting out a scene, cause you know, your sister loves to act out a scene. Got a little weird. Okay, we're gonna just... All right, and I believe the last one for today. Favorite fruit, Ricky Martin. My favorite fruit is definitely not fucking dried kiwi. Ugh, I, dried kiwi is like this channel's nemesis, is it not? So, ugh, my favorite fruit, I mean, I'm just, I kind of go with just like the first thing that pops in my head and it's banana. I love apples, I love this, I love that. But my favorite fruit is star fruit. I love it! I love starfruit. I haven't seen it in a while, actually. Actually, I haven't seen starfruit in the store in a while. I, I'm gonna look out for it. I'm worried about it. I'm worried about the starfruit. But it kind of tastes like a green apple. It's nothing, like, spectacular. You just cut it up and eat the whole thing. It's great. There's no waste. There's no nothing. They look cute in little children's, like, bag lunches and stuff. Oh my god, make me a starfruit! But yeah, starfruit's my favorite. That got weird too. Some of these are getting kind of weird when you get. Thanks everyone. That's been another installment of Friday's Favorite. Have a great day and tell me your favorites. Bye guys.